There is a feature in Visual Studio Code that is obvious as day. At the same time, I think it's easy to overlook the utility of it. And it is the simple feature that when you select some text, for example, a mini map here. So when I do that, you can see it highlights all the other instances of the word mini app throughout this document. And of course, if I make this a bit longer, in that case, I don't have anything matching anywhere else. But if I shorten this up a bit here, I get mini map with a dot. How about I come up here and do register color and then mini map? You can now see all the calls to register color. So it's a simple feature that helps you take a look at and search for a string of text without needing to go through the entire workflow of copying some text, Command F, pasting it in, and then running the search, and then tabbing through the results. It's basically the same thing. It's just built into the ability to select text to be able to find similar matches then. So for example, if I know I want to work with settings around minimap selection, so I can see there are four different matches here. So there are two different settings that I'm going to look at. Or another use case here, if I have a couple of different methods or code that go through different scenarios, like an info, got a warning here, got an error down below. If I want to quick make sure that I copy and pasted something correctly and updated it, maybe I copied the warning and just made the error. Well, I could first off select error and make sure I see that throughout the three lines of code here. And then if I want to check and make sure I didn't leave the word warning behind, I could select warning here. And there you go. You can see it's only on these three lines. There are none down below. So that looks like I did a good job then of updating the code that I copy and pasted and then replace the word warning with error. And of course, I could use this to make sure that nobody else made a mistake. Or maybe I want to look at info up above here. There you go. You can see info that's only on these three lines of code. Just a simple diff utility that you can use on the fly by just selecting some text. Another good use case is if I want to maybe reconcile two different files, like two different files for my prettier ignore, and I paste in some lines from another prettier ignore, and I want to make sure these are up above. And I'm not certain if I could just search for all of them at the same time. So I could start out, I can select the first line that matches, second line that matches, third line that matches, fourth line that matches. And in this case, it just so happens that all of these lines match because I just copied the text up above and pasted it down below. When I'm working on this, though, if I find something that doesn't match, I know I can grab that one line, I can put it up above, and that's how I can reconcile these two files. Now, the other thing I want to say about this, one unfortunate aspect of the feature is if I'm selecting a line here, or maybe I'm selecting at the end of this line here, maybe I want to select all the asterisk.js, and for some reason I want to wrap around to a new line, it doesn't actually work to do that to find matches. So what I've done at this point in time, I submitted a pull request with a change to VS Code. Hopefully it gets merged or something along its lines get merged. And that is the ability over on the right here. I'll uncomment the settings. I added two settings. One is to enable multi-line selection highlighting. Set that to true. And the other one is to set a length limit. So if I set this to, for example, 200, which is the default, there's also a length limit. And then if I hop back over here, Take a look at the code on the left here. I can start selecting again, and there you go. You can see in that case, I'm actually selecting across a line boundary. So there's no reason this can't work. I'm hoping the pull request gets merged because oftentimes I find myself wanting to match text that spans multiple lines and do the exact same thing. Maybe I want to diff a block of text, for example. I might have pasted in these lines here from another project, and I want to find where these two projects diverge. And there you go. You can see right there. Oh, actually, no, I don't have a problem. What you can see right there is the length limit is kicking in now. So if I come over here and change this to zero, I can make it unlimited. Now when I come back over on the left-hand side and do my selection again, there you go. You can see all of those lines actually match. So two features I added. I hope they get merged. So keep an eye out for that. And then I think I just wanted to make the video to point out this obvious feature, as I previously said, just because it's easily overlooked. You might not realize what you can do with it. But if you think of it as a differencing tool, a comparison tool that doesn't have a lot of overhead to copy this text and then that text and then diff the two, you can just select things. And when they match, you know they're the same. And when they don't match, you can see where they diverge. You can move your selection then somewhere else after the divergence and see if maybe they're the same afterwards. It's just a really easy tool for some surgical comparisons right when you're sitting inside of your code or even when you're just writing some text maybe in a markdown file.